empty yourself of everything. Let the mind rest at peace. The 10,000 things rise and fall while the self watches their return. They grow and flourish and then return to the source. Returning to the source is stillness, which is the way of nature. The way of nature is unchanging. Knowing constancy is insight. Not knowing constancy leads to disaster. Knowing constancy, the mind is open. With an open mind, you will be open-hearted. Being open-hearted, you will act royally. Being royal, you will attain the divine. Being divine, you will be at one with the Tao. Being at one with the Tao is eternal. And though the body dies, the Tao will never pass away. The very highest is barely known by men. Then comes that which they know and love. Then that which is feared. Then that which is despised. When you are lacking in faith, others will be unfaithful to you. The sage is powerful beyond all doubt, though the people do not recognize him. When his task is accomplished and things have been completed, all the people say, We did it all by ourselves. When the great Tao is forgotten, kindness and morality arise. When wisdom and intelligence are born, the great pretense begins. When there is no peace within the family, filial piety and paternal kindness arise. When the country is confused and in chaos, loyal ministers appear. Give up sainthood, renounce wisdom, and it will be a hundred times better for everyone. Give up kindness, renounce morality, and men will rediscover filial piety and love. Give up ingenuity, renounce profit, and bandits and thieves will disappear. These three are outward forms alone. They are not sufficient in themselves. It is more important to see the simplicity, to realize one's true nature, to cast off selfishness and temper desire. Give up learning and put an end to your troubles. Is there a difference between yes and no? Is there a difference between good and evil? Must I fear what others fear? What nonsense! Other people are contented, enjoying the sacrificial feast of the ox. In spring, some go to the park and climb the terrace. But I alone am drifting not knowing where I am. Like a newborn babe before it learns to smile, I am alone, without a place to go. Others have more than they need, but I alone have nothing. I am a fool. Oh yes, I am confused. Other men are clear and bright, but I alone am dim and weak. Other men are sharp and clever, but I alone am dull and stupid. Oh, I drift like the waves of the sea, without direction, like the restless wind. Everyone else is busy, but I alone am aimless and depressed. I am different. I am nourished by the Great Mother.
The greatest virtue is to follow Tao and Tao alone. The Tao is elusive and intangible. Oh, it is intangible and elusive, and yet within is image. Oh, it is elusive and intangible, and yet within is form. Oh, it is dim and dark, and yet within is essence. This essence is very real, and therein lies faith. From the very beginning until now, its name has never been forgotten. Thus I perceive the creation. How do I know the ways of creation? Because of this. Yield and overcome. Bend and be straight. Empty and be full. Wear out and be new. Have little and gain. Have much and be confused. Therefore, wise men embrace the one and set an example to all. Not putting on a display, they shine forth. Not justifying themselves, they are distinguished. Not boasting, they receive recognition. Not bragging, they never falter. They do not quarrel, so no one quarrels with them. Therefore, the ancients say, yield and overcome. Is that an empty saying? Be really whole, and all things will come to you. To speak little is natural. High winds do not last all morning. Heavy rain does not last all day. Why is this? Heaven and earth. If heaven and earth cannot make things eternal, how is it possible for man? He who follows the Tao is at one with the Tao. He who is virtuous experiences virtue. He who loses the way feels lost. When you are at one with the Tao, the Tao welcomes you. When you are at one with virtue, the virtue is always there. When you are at one with loss, the loss is experienced willingly. He who does not trust enough will not be trusted. He who stands on tiptoe is not steady. He who strides cannot maintain the pace. He who makes a show is not enlightened. He who is self-righteous is not respected. He who boasts achieves nothing. He who brags will not endure. According to followers of the Tao, these are extra food and unnecessary luggage. They do not bring happiness. Therefore, followers of the Tao avoid them. Something mysteriously formed, born before heaven and earth, in the silence and the void, Standing alone and unchanging, ever present and in motion. Perhaps it is the mother of ten thousand things. I do not know its name. Call it Tao. For lack of a better word, I call it great. Being great, it flows. It flows far away. Having gone far, it returns. Therefore, 
Thou is great. Heaven is great. Earth is great. The King is also great. These are the four great powers of the universe, and the King is one of them. Man follows the earth. Earth follows heaven. Heaven follows the Tao. Tao follows what is natural.